you have a laser machine and you're looking for something interesting to do, make a halftone image. So it starts with an image you want to create the halftone of. In this case here it's my daughter. Next we use some software to make the halftone and here's the output. Okay, so first thing to do when you're cutting anything on the laser machine uh, is to get the proper distance between the laser cutting head and the work that allows the uh, system to focus properly on the work it's cutting. So here the bed is actually being raised. This is an alignment uh, gauge. And once I have the proper alignments, I'll stop the bed rising and we'll have the, uh, the proper distance. Now what we can do is we can actually outline uh, the actual project that's going to be cut. This just uh, enables us to make sure that we are cutting within the bounds of our uh, piece here. In this case it's 3 millimeter plywood. This is Baltic birch plywood which has no, uh, no voids in it. It's very, uh, very clear. It's nice stuff to cut on the laser machine. And here we go. It's cutting out the first, uh, first of many circles. You can see a couple of whiffs of smoke there occasionally. Um, the actual exhaust fan is uh, is right now it's uh, um, sucking from below, not above. So uh, you shouldn't see um, much smoke at all at the top because everything's uh, being drawn into a plenum below and sucked out and uh, being vented outside. So the idea for this came from an article we had on Hacked Gadgets. It was uh, featuring the work of Metal Fusion from Finland. And what he has actually done is he's developed some software that allows him to take an image, convert it to halftone. And what he does is he takes the output of this uh, program, which is basically gives you a DXF file of the circles, and he runs it through another uh, process so he can cut it on his CNC machine. Now I was thinking, you know, why not try this on the laser machine? You know, cut out the uh, all the processing and uh, and hopefully it's faster and the nice thing about it is I can take the output directly from his software and feed it directly into the CNC machine. Now of course there's many other ways you can create the halftone images. Uh, you could use Photoshop if you want. They actually have a halftone generation um, option built right into them. You can uh, type some numbers into that and you can uh, you know easily generate something very similar to this. Uh, the nice thing about the software that Metal Fusion has created is it's uh, it's very simple to use and you can see the results uh, you know quite instantly uh, you can uh, choose the number uh, you know your, your grid pattern you want so you can uh, very nicely um, scope down or increase the number of dots you actually want to create now I, I believe in uh, one of the images I think it's uh, 1000 dots is what I'm using and I like that effect it gives you uh, you know close up you can't really tell what it is take a few steps back and it immediately uh, is obvious what uh, what the picture is So when the project is done, it should snap out nicely and all it might take is just a few taps on the uh, table here just to remove any uh, lingering uh, holes or pieces that are in the hole and it looks like everything came out just nicely. Now of course this is uh, still sort of you know wood color. All it'll take is a little black spray paint to finish that off and of course the nice thing about uh, you know having the laser machine cut it is uh, all of the holes are actually already dark inside, and so is the uh, so is the outside border. So 
you don't even have to be that careful when you paint it just as long as you hit you know all of the the front edges uh, you're good And this is an example of the same image, except it's just uh, blown up a little bit. And this is being cut out of construction paper. Now the nice thing about this is construction paper is very thin compared to the plywood. And it's already black, so it uh, cuts very fast and there's no painting involved. Once it's uh, finished cutting, it's basically ready to go. Now I could have increased the power a little bit. You'll notice that uh, a few of the, uh, the holes after it's been cut out don't drop away. You know, they're being held in there just by a small little sliver. Um, however, after the process was done, a couple shots of some compressed air blew those remaining holes right out of there. And it was uh, completely done and ready to go. And here's a picture of my daughter showing off the uh, halftone likenesses of her. The one on the left there, that's the smaller plywood one. That's... Uh, the three millimeter plywood which has been uh, just painted black on the front and the one on the right is the black construction paper one now you know for the looks I can't tell the difference between them um, the effect is exactly the same so I would say unless you need something that's rigid I would go with the construction paper every time 